Hey guys, Jodie Flavel here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am not painting furniture today. Instead, I have these little plates. So, um, they came quite cheap. They cost me three pounds from a friend. Um, and I thought they might be quite cute to do like a little crafty upcycle with. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to use is Dixie Belle Slick Stick. So this is an adhesive primer and because these are quite slippery I'm going to put two layers of this on because it's just going to ensure that my uh, paint will then adhere nicely uh, to this plate. Okay so I'm going to use a premium chip brush by Dixie Belle and I'm just going to first, oops don't do that, <laughs> firstly just going to put one nice even coat on there. You then leave the slick stick to dry for two hours and then you can go in with your next coat and then I like to leave it overnight before I go in with my um, paint however for the sake of time today I am not going to be doing this but that is the guidance okay so these are the um, three colors that I'm using on the plates we've got fiery sky um, oasis and mojay Mo no, wait, Mojave, Mojave. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be painting these on with a synthetic brush. So this will mean that I get no brush strokes. And also because it's silk paint, it has a built-in top coat. So it's just going to help it be um, that little bit more durable as well. Okay, so I thought I might do a different look for each one. So instead of doing it like a whole set, like um, I'm doing them all like this, even though I had a lot of fun doing this, um, I thought I might give you guys some different ideas on what maybe you could do with, you know, your plates or your um, trays or cups or whatever you've got lying around the house, you know? So, <clears throat> and then maybe I could just give it to family and give them to charity shops and things maybe. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll show you a few different looks. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do, just with some fine sanding paper, this one is just one of the sanding blocks from Dixie Belle, very lightly just going to sand some of the texture away. Um, I think I've got a little bit of texture because I've done this outside and I haven't waited long enough for the um, slick stick to kind of dry properly. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you do have a bit of a texture build up, just do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is use some pieces from the um, Latin floral transfer. They're quite big, so I'm going to have to chop them up. So I just want to get this centered. I'm not very good at centering things. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just say that's about halfway. <laughs> or is it? And then I'm just going to rub it on. So again, it's a really good idea uh, to make sure that your paint is totally cured before you do this. I'm taking risks by doing this. Um, I would generally leave your paint, especially if it's silk paint, maybe not so much with chalk paint, but definitely with silk paint. Leave it a few hours or overnight if you can before you go in there with a the transfer. You just want to scratch in sections and then just kind of gradually pull it away as you go along. So I like the faded look, so I'm actually just going to sand it down and I'm also just going to sand down the middle here just to get rid of some of that where you can see it's basically been joined. You don't have to do this, it's just what I like to do. <laughs> Another thing you can do is use a silk screen stencil or any, you know, any stencil of your choice. Um, so that's, this is what we're going to be using for the red plate.
So if you're feeling a little experimental, the other thing you can do is maybe hand paint something. Um, and that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> 